You guys know my Audi, you know my watches, you know the Mustang, but you haven't met Cuddy. Cuddy, come here, come here, Cuddy. Hi, oh, this is my Rhodesian Ridgeback. His name is Cuddy, he's two years old, and he's absolutely the greatest thing ever. So what I'm gonna go through is show you guys a little bit about how Rhodesian Ridgebacks are, their temperament. Of course, if you're looking to buy a dog, maybe this video will be helpful for you. But honestly, I'm very biased. I think Rhodesians are the best. People recognize him, they're like, oh my God, that's a Rhodesian. So he gets a bunch of street cred, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, I really love his temperament. He's a great pup. And we're just gonna go on this walk. Maybe we'll get some cool drone shots too. So this is Cuddy's favorite walk. It's this kind of like, cut out in this neighborhood that goes through a forest and there's a stream at the other end. We invested a lot of time into training Cuddy um, to make sure that he wouldn't get in trouble, run in traffic, do all kinds of crazy things. And honestly, it was really smooth going because we started off when he was a really young pup and now it's sort of been on autopilot. Honestly, he's just so, so easy. He's very easy going. We made sure that we were getting him from a good breeder and uh, we made sure that his sort of history and his you know, pedigree was checked. Of course, I'm definitely pro rescue. We tried to rescue a pup first. We couldn't find one because they're pretty rare in North America. And uh, we ended up going to a breeder. So definitely lucked out with his temperament. Whoa, so our favorite little stream here seems to have absolutely flooded. Rhodesian Ridgebacks don't like water. And he'll get in it occasionally, but not voluntarily. He's not gonna be like, yeah, I'm just gonna go jump in that puddle. Anyway, we're gonna walk down into that down that stream, avoid these massive mud pits, and then we're gonna go walk in. We go hiking with him quite a lot. Um, that's why he's pretty fit. Um, you're supposed to be able to see like the back two ribs when he runs and flexes and stuff. That's how you know that they're good weight. Um, but he's an extremely active dog, and it's really helped me be a more active human being because Honestly, like you have to get out. He wants to go play. It inspires you, it encourages you to get out. All of a sudden you're burning your calorie mark or whatever it may be that you're tracking times like tenfold. So, you know, honestly, really active dog. Um, gotta take him out, gotta have fun. And you know, it feels good. One thing about Rhodesian Ridgebacks is they love to learn. So we took advantage of that early on. We sort of gave him treats, gave him the benefits of learning and he, he loves to do things. So one of the things we taught him to do is uh, jump on command, okay? So let's, let's just do this. Okay, Cuddy, come on, come on. Up, up, up. Nice. Let's try another jump attempt. This time over here, let's see if he's got it. All right, Cuddy, all right, go back, go back. Up, 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 up. Cuddy, come here, come here, Cuddy. Oh my God, I cannot believe he just jumped over that. I told you, these dogs are super athletic. Cuddy loves to jump. They're awesome adventure partners. If you're into hiking, you're into outdoor activities, a Rhodesian Ridgeback will be a perfect dog for you. You know what? Guys, you have to really get more into the outdoors if you're gonna get a dog that requires a lot of activity because they love being outside. I couldn't think of a greater punishment for a dog like this than to keep them cooped up in a house all day, you know? If they get a lot of exercise, they're fine, you know? But if, if you are just sitting around and ignoring them and they get fat and stuff, they're not gonna be happy. People tell me, I'm not gonna get a Rhodesian Ridgeback because I live in an apartment. Well, you know what? When they're at home and they got some activity, they're huge couch potatoes. They're so chill. They just like lay around and like, you know, chilling as long as they get activity, so you gotta take them out. So, are they apartment dogs? Yes. Are they dogs for farmhouses? Yes. And they're also natural guarding dogs, and I'll talk about that in a second. We're going to try and cross this log. Teddy's like, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, all right. Let's see if the pup's got it. Don't fall, bro, don't fall. Come on, Cuddy. Good boy, come here, Cuddy, come on. Come here, Cuddy, good boy. Nice. Good job, good job. All right, so, now we're gonna take that drone up. The touch of yours is what I've been looking for. Will you say my name? I just wanna feel you more I try to read your book But it's too complicated And I can't know how you feel Damn, I hate it oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna try to find the light from the sun 
now that we're done running on those logs, getting muddy, running around this forest, I'm gonna tell you guys where Rhodesian Ridgebacks came from, like where they originated. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, they're from Rhodesia, which is Southern Africa. The Europeans, they brought uh, hunting dogs down to Southern Africa to hunt. Those hunting dogs included things like Great Danes, hounds, uh, mastiffs. And those dogs interbred with the local uh, regional African bush dog that had a prominent ridge on its back. And so when these uh, European hunters would send dogs out on hunting expeditions, the ones that kept coming back alive were the ones with the ridges on their backs. So they were like, hmm, let's be smart about this. Let's interbreed these guys because, you know, they seem to be a little bit more uh, resilient against the harsh climate, the heat, the long tracks through the bush, and the animals that were really dangerous that were, they, were, they were trying to hunt. So the Rhodesian Ridgeback actually has a ridge on his back that is one of its most predominant traits. And it looks really cool. Um, people sometimes mistaken it thinking that the dog's aggressive or something, but that's just the way he looks. Um, and basically, uh, you know, they, they just kept interbreeding the ones with the ridges because they kept coming back alive. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the Rhodesian Ridgeback was the final product. Uh, and surprise, surprise, it's not very uh, popular here in the United States or Europe. People actually uh, think they're aggressive most of the time because when you go down to Southern Africa, in a lot of contexts, they're used as guard dogs and they do have natural guarding instinct. But if you socialize them well, they can be amazing, tremendous pets and companions. And I'm super happy with Cuddy. He's absolutely the best pup. Oh, and before we go, quick tip for learning recall and this is something that people ask me all the time like how does he always just come back to you when you call him well you have to start early when they're puppies or else it doesn't work you want to establish it with one word so it's really simple for the dog to remember and identify immediately in his mind you want the dog to connect that idea or memory with something positive that they really like I use this name and a lot of people do so you just say I say Cuddy when he was like really young I would say Cuddy and then he would run over and I would use a little squeaky, it would be like beep, 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 right? He would run over, he would hear his name, he would hear the squeaky, he would come over here and I would give him a treat immediately, right? Super young, you do this like 20 times a day, straight up, 20 times a day. Like, I cannot describe to you how important this is for recall training. When they're puppies, you know, you want them to associate coming to you as a really good thing, they get a reward. When you call them, they immediately come back. It's exactly what he does every single time we're on a walk, every single time he runs into the forest. You know, I'm not worried about it because he runs out, does his thing, I call him, he immediately comes back. That's one quick tip for learning recall. So thanks again for tuning in. I hope that this helped you understand me better. Definitely meet my dog and tune in to Drive In Time for more videos like this, car reviews, watch reviews, and travel. Thanks everybody. Smash that like button so YouTube's algorithms bless me and see you again for another one.